Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're doing what Eric has recommended and sent to me for a cigar review. It is a Tatuaje, and they call this like Robusto Limited Especial, something like that. But this really is the Tatuaje Lomo de Cedo, and it's repackaged and rebend it for CRA Spring 2023 pack. All right, so now what this is what we got. Rebend it, uh, little fan pigtail, fan tail, what you want to call that, and closed foot. All right, so let's uh, give you some information and take a look at, at the cigar before we start. Tatuaje Lomo de Cerro being part of the CRA pack of the 2023 Freedom Sampler uh, it was renamed to Tatuaje Limited Robusto Especial. Being Robusto, it was size 5 and 1 8 by 52 Robusto Extra. MSRP would be probably kind of 15, being just one of 10, and the pack is $150. Wrapper is Mexican San Andreas, binder is Nicaraguan, and filler is Nicaraguan. It should be the same cigar, but the only way to find out is to review it. Let's get started. All right, so now that you have seen it, there is a patch on this thing. Um, the, you know, the, the, the wrapping is not perfect, but sent here by Eric, so we should smoke it. Either way, it does have a close foot, so the draw is gonna be crap, but we will still smell it. It's like <coughs> sweet coffee, kind of fruity. Woodsiness. It's complicated because it's hard to figure out what it smells like based on a closed foot. Give it a cut. I'm pretty sure the draw is going to be crap. Mm. Sweet raisin espresso slash coffee. Well, obviously, with the raisin, you get a little bit fruity. There is also earthiness. Cedar. And maybe a little bit barnyard because of that earthiness is kind of like stink. That's what I got. That's what I got. All right. Slide it up. Now, with that being said, now that it's, um, I burn off the closed foot. The joy is acceptable. 
Not the way I like it, but it's acceptable. A lot of pepper. Cedar. Hay. Earth. Earthiness. That banya stink is gone though. Yeah. Pepper. This is more like a black pepper burn. Um, and it's also still have a little bit of that raisin. Ooh, burn. Right, that dinkiness came back. All right. It's more of an espresso bean than chocolate. Some sort of mixed spice. That's what I got. So let's smoke one third. We'll be right back. All right, we're at first third. Now the, the strength about medium, medium plus might be because of draw. What I get is nutmeg, woodsiness, a little bit coffee slash cocoa mixture and chard. Still have a lot of pepper, spicy. It's relatively smooth, but not very strong bodied. It does taste good, but not very strong bodied. That's what I got first there. And I'm starting to think that maybe I should loosen the draw a little bit to get more flavor out of it or try to get more flavor out of it so we will try to do that but burn is great like i said the draw is acceptable it's just not the way i like it i like a lot of smoke to get those flavor but it's not doing that it's just enough and enough is not good enough for tony so we'll continue to smoke this hopefully the the flavor rims up and we'll see where that goes all right be right back all right we're done with second third uh Second, third, I did use the draw tool to kind of get more draw out of it. You get a little bit more cocoa. You get a little bit more of that nutmeg, woodsiness, hay, earthiness. But you also get a little bit of bitterness. Um, there's more bitterness in the second, third flavor. Kind of go up a little bit. Strength about medium. Uh, draw is still kind of okay for me. Not the perfect. Draw. I didn't want to pull anything out, so I just poke it, right? But that's it for second, third. It's still relatively like a medium, mild bodied cigar. It doesn't taste bad, but it's not what I usually like. I don't know. It's good. Raisin's coming back, so last third, finish it up. And I'll show you the bin last because that bin. It's very tiny, so we'll be right back. All right, last stir. Last stir, more cocoa, more coffee, more slightly bitterness, more earthiness, more woodsy. That's what we got. So I did have to end up pull a little bit of tobacco out because it was just too tight to get anything. I get one of these and get one of these. All right, so now the problem with some of the cigars is that sometimes when they twist the thing off this part twisted with the with the stem and then when they bind it sometimes it go like this okay and when it's like that it holds up the route for the air to go through and even though the draw is not tight you're not getting anything because you're getting air that's circulating from that loop so you're not getting anything even if there's a draw so you know it's just Kind of the byproduct of how the leaf are you can see this is twisted too right you see that it's just a byproduct of them doing this but yeah as you can know that 
uh, making the cigar is all about speed and quality at the same time. If you're too fast, you don't, you know, you don't get the quality, but if you're too slow, you're not making enough cigars. They, they can't just cut every single one of them using the knife to cut it. Technically, they could just put it in there and cut it, but they twist it off. So when they twist it off, you get sometime a stem with some leaf on it that just twist all the way through until it kind of bends upward like that. Okay. And that's just where it is. Sometimes you just have to pull them out. And, and I just happen to be one that really don't like medium to tight draw or medium draw. I tend to pull them out and I see that a lot more. Some people will just go through with it. Okay with medium draw or slightly tight draw and not feeling it until obviously, obviously until this knot like this got burned off. The, the, the bend, they got burned off. Once that burns off, air goes through. I just tend to pull them out. And the reason that you're not, you're not seeing like this, because when I pull it out, it's like this, okay? So once as you pull it out, they come out holding the tobacco and they'll come straight out like that. So you never see the tobacco bends like this. When you pull it out, it's always straight because you're pulling it out, right? So you never see that, but that's how behind the scene works. If you want to know how that is, every time oh, I pull it out, they never bend. But when you pull it out, it straights out. It straightens as the tobacco is pressing onto it and you pull it out, then that bend becomes straight. But that's how it works. All right. And once I pull it out, I get a lot more flavor. Definitely more cocoa. And I can see why people like this cigar. Right? If this whole entire cigar was like this, it would have been a great cigar. But because there was draw issue, it wasn't doing that for me. But if I were to rate the cigar based on that last third, let's say the, the throughout was like this last third, it would be around $12. Okay, Even though it's $15, MSRP is based on divided by 10 on that pack of cigars. Some cigars are more expensive, some cigars are lighter. And I really think the, the rightful place, based on my experience, about 8 bucks. It's about eight bucks, okay? But it's a good cigar. If I got a perfect one. I want to show you guys the band. Like I said, the band was a big deal. But it was changed. It's basically the same cigar as one of these. If I put an image here, it, it'd be one of those. They just changed the band so it fits into that. And the size is, I think the size is slightly different. It's a good cigar though. Uh, if that laster, I, and I can see that laster being the way it is uh, because it's more characteristic of a San Andreas cigar. Okay, so yeah, eight bucks is my experience, but I think that if the whole thing, like if your experience of this cigar is the whole thing without the problem, it's somewhere about twelve dollars. Okay, the the. The body of the flavor changes through uh, through the cigar. So if I was to imagine the cigar being a little bit more in the second third, a little bit less in the first third, that's where, how I came about that twelve dollar. Okay. Yeah, coffee cocoa is the forefront. That espresso coffee has a little bit bitterness to it, which is totally fine because you got a little bit of sweetness in the beginning. That sweetness might came from the leftover fruitiness, might came from the raisin or whatnot, but it's not very apparent, but it does make the puff more enjoyable until that bitterness comes in. And the bitterness kind of serves as a palate cleanser, per se. Uh, and, and kind of works out because it's not a lot of bitters, just a little bit. It's not one of those um, like mineral bitter. It's more of a bitter that kind of goes with that coffee. So yeah, good cigar, could be better, but unfortunately I got one that's like that. And I tend to get one that's like that. I don't know why. And, and just my luck, just my luck. A lot of times that I, I, you know, past few years, but buying a lot of cigar online. In the past, I tend to like to buy cigar in the shop and I will molest the cigar and, and make sure I get the one I like. But because I buy it online, I don't get to do that. Then you tend to get those more. Um, 
that's just the way it works right in a box of cigar you cannot expect every every cigar is the same they're not rolled by the same person what happens is after they roll it they go to a place that's sort by color now once you sort by color now you're putting different people's cigar in different things and then you know some people are good some people are bad some people are maybe okay you gotta get all those in your box of cigar there's no way that main main material is gonna be perfect every time so i can only give you my impression of it you know as trying that cigar the good thing is that we are going to uh, we have been uh doing review re-reviews on eric's channel uh so make sure to check out eric's channel sunday 9 p.m eastern time for the midnight cigar uh re-reviews uh where we review some of the cigar that we thought could be better let's try it again kind of the same thing and then if we review one of these we'll tell you whether or not it's better okay so that will be it for this cigar review if you like it make sure to like subscribe comment share uh if you don't like it thumbs down so i know that you don't like my stuff and maybe i'll start doing start start doing less <laughs> okay and we have swag t-shirts and uh membership uh, make sure to check those out if you'd like to have a little bit more um events faster looking at some of the reviews um usually right now i'm doing for the membership is about a week earlier you can still see that uh i haven't decided on what members exclusive video i'm gonna put out there uh, but i have been re re releasing the older uh, its project videos now to the public so that everybody can see it okay and other than that make sure to also listen to our podcast right now we are at end of a season so we'll take a month off and then we'll go back to do it more content to come all right so that will be it for today and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys